Well, good morning. First of all, let me say that. My name is Michael Strange. I'm the Executive Director for Columbia Housing Development Corporation and TN Development Corporation. And thank you all so much for taking the time out of your busy day to join us here today. Um, at this time, I want to make sure I acknowledge um, any community uh, council folks from Edgewood community. Are there, are there any, any here from Edgewood? Just want to thank them for their support with this project, as well as other projects that we are working on in this particular area. Um, at this time, we're going to bring Mr. Reverend uh, Councilman Edward McDowell, Jr. to just give a few remarks. This project has been a long time in the making. This project started in 1999 when Columbia Housing Authority uh, asked the Columbia Housing Development Co-op to commit to build homes that would help in their commitment for Celia Saxon, Hope 6. An application was submitted, and of course, you see the results of this application. 16 homes. We are still committed to honoring our commitment for homes in the area. Isn't it good to know that that commitment continues to stand clear and provides real opportunities for not only this community, but for the expansion of our city? The community leaders expressed a concern about CHDC building before other properties surrounding this location could be acquired. They feared that the houses would not sell if divested, if divested properties were still across the street. While the disenfranchised locations have not been uh, remediated, large portions of the blighted property on Waits Road has been and continue to be but we see a difference. We see a renaissance. I have been and seen, and this staff has spent many hours of labor. The gates of hell just down the street was demolished, torn down. This new construction, acquisition, and demolition of blighted sites continue to display CHDC's commitment to improving and expanding our neighborhood and, of course, this great city of ours. The correlation, the collaboration between Columbia Housing Authority and the Columbia Housing Development Co-op is a partnership that continues to work together to enhance this area. We steadfastly in our, in our belief that we will transform this area from Martin Luther King Park to Sarah Nance Performing Arts Center. It's good to be here today. I've been over here since 2010, and I can tell you that at first, when we first came to look at the house, um, before we came, the guy was like, oh, well, I'm just going to take you to this area and, like, don't pay attention to the things around you. So I was like, okay, he said Edgefield. So I was thinking, okay, I don't really know where that is. But then he said off of 2 Notch and Waits Road. So as we were coming, I was looking, and I'm like, oh, I'm familiar with this area. Like, I grew up down the street in Jagasaris. Like, I know this area. And I hadn't seen these houses, so I was really impressed when I saw all of these nice, nicer houses. And so... Like, I wasn't worried about the neighborhood or anything because, like I said, I grew up over here. So I've been over here since 2010, and I haven't had any trouble. Like, the neighbors are very friendly, and I just actually love it over here. I want to take this moment as well to uh, um, thank my board um, for Columbia Housing Development Corporation. If, if my board members could just raise their hands, just want to thank them so much for their support um, in all of our endeavors with Columbia Housing Development Corporation. Also want to thank uh, McGuinn Homes. Do we have a representative from McGuinn here today? McGuinn Homes was the uh, con general contractor 
and builder on the two homes. They did an outstanding job, so we we'll definitely want to thank them as well. As well as Brownstone with Kenneth Whitteth, Brownstone uh, Architects, they did an outstanding job of helping us with this project as well. Um, at this time, as I spoke of my board, I want to bring, bring our, our board chairman up, Nathaniel Barber, and uh, with South State Bank, just to give a few remarks. I have been involved with the Columbia Housing Development Corporation since, since this project. Um, they started building homes. I've been, been very pleased with that. I was trying to think of the dates, but I know we had a different city manager. Charlie Austin was the city manager at the time. We had a different community development director and Deborah Livingston. Now we have a new city manager with Teresa and a new community development director with Gloria. And the houses are built. So I'm so pleased to have been able to make it through um, that time frame. And as an aside, I'm not from Columbia. I'm from Rock Hill. But guess what's the name of the elementary school that I went to? Edgewood Elementary School. So I was very interested in this from the very beginning because of that connection uh, to, to Edgewood Elementary School and what's going on here. So this project has been a long time in the, uh, in the making, but you, get, you took my note. I am the board chair. You met my previous board chair, Joe Reynolds here, and Thelma Walker is behind me, and the rest of our board members couldn't be with us today, but they've been intimately involved with um, what's happening here at Edgewood. So, um, since 1999, Columbia Housing Development Corporation has invested over a million and a half dollars from CDBG home and operating funds to facilitate the changes that you're seeing in this area. Today, with the help of our general contractor, McGuinn, uh, we're excited to cut the ribbon on 2504 Louisa, uh, which is the Palmetto uh, design, and 2500 Louisa, which is the Jasmine design. The square footage ranges between 1,210 feet to 1,667 square feet. The prices range from the 120s to the 140s. Both homes come with all appliances, security systems, sprinkler systems, and tankless water heaters. We're very proud to say that both homes are uh, already on the contract. Actually, we feel so confident in those contracts, we can almost say that these homes are sold. So we're very pleased with what has come, uh, come along here and from just being here earlier today, we already know that our next work is probably going to have us looking across the street, talking with some folk over here. As I look at some of our Jones Memorial folk here, we've been talking about what might we do across the street, and we said, let's talk about that. So we got our work cut out for us, but in the meantime, let's celebrate the fact that we have these very these new homes that are opening up to complete the development of the Edgewood and helping to turn this community around. Appreciate you coming out today. Thank you. First, I want to begin by saying good morning to all of you. And on behalf of the City of Columbia's Community Development Department, I am pleased to be here this morning for this occasion of celebrating the completion of the Edgewood Community Project. We are extremely proud of this project and commend the Columbia Housing Development Corporation's Board of Directors and staff for the work they have done to provide quality housing in this community. Our goal in community development is to fund projects that offer opportunities for home ownership and rental housing. This project is one that includes mixed incomes. I want to talk about that a little bit because as we're doing revitalization around the city, it's very important to us that we are inclusive and that we not only in include just individuals who are earning 80% and less of the area median income, but we also want to include workforce housing. Those individuals who own up to, who earn up to 120% of the area median income. Um, one of the other things that is very unique to this project is it did start out as a home ownership project. But if you all recall around 2008 and 2009, the real estate market fell. And so we were left with empty houses that nobody was interested in buying, which is when we actually uh, came in contact with Ms. Jamison, who spoke earlier. And we felt that there was also a need to provide affordable rentals. So we worked it out where we decided to rent those houses that were still vacant. So at the end of the day, we end up with an excellent model where we can include home ownership, and affordable home ownership and affordable rentals. 
in our project. So that is a model that we're going to be using moving forward as we do revitalization and form partnerships with others around the City of Columbia. So I just wanted to share that with you. The City of Columbia Community Development Department receives annual entitlements each year for community development block grant dollars, which is referred to as CDBG, and also home investment partnership dollars, which as short we just call home, home funds. And we have contributed over $1 million. I think Nate said about 1.5. That's a little higher than the number I have, but I'll take your number, okay? In CDBG and home funds to this, to this project. So we're re very excited about that. In addition, as they've mentioned about the two, ho two homes that are under contract, I say that they're sold because we've had the pleasure of providing the financing through the City of Columbia's uh, housing division for both these homes. And just to tell you a little bit about the financing that we provide, which in my opinion is the best in Columbia, um, the financing on both of these, first of all, the down payment is as low as $500. We provide a low interest rate, uh, below market interest rate for the loans. And also there's no private mortgage insurance required. What that equates to is a lower mar mortgage payment and also mortgage interest savings over the life of the loan. So Michael, again, I wanna say congratulations to you on getting these homes sold in record time. We are especially pleased that community development has provided the home loans. And we truly appreciate being a partner and look forward to assisting to move it, it forward to assisting in future projects and to take this same model across the city. I'd like to recognize our CD staff who worked to help with this project, starting with Ms. Felicia Kilgore, if you would raise your hand. Uh, she leads the housing division. We also have uh, Fernando here, and we have Zan here. Uh, we also have another loan officer, Rochelle Jennings. She wasn't uh, able to join us today. But thank you all for the work that you continue to do. I will end by saying that we have much more work to do, and it's going to take a commitment, a continued commitment from the City of Columbia, communication with our neighborhoods, a continued collaboration with our banking partners and developers, and also simply working together, the potential to grow our city is endless. So congratulations to you all, and keep up the great work. Thank you. I want to take this moment as well to, to thank a few more people who just arrived. First and foremost, let me thank uh, Tracy Conrad, uh, for, for his diligence, our real estate agent, for his diligence and hard work, not only on this project, but I've, I've, I've given him some uh, huge projects to work on this year and he's met the, the task. So uh, I wanna thank Mr. Conrad for all of his diligence as well. Um, also want to thank uh, Mr. Walker with Columbia Housing Authority, who just came up. I wanna say thank you to him. Um, also uh, would love to thank my staff let me get my staff to raise their hands. They did a lot of hard work to put all of this together for TN Development. Ms. Marshika Martin, Ms. Edna, Shante Harrison, uh, our maintenance crew. Uh, they did a great job in helping us put all of this together. And last but not least, so I don't get in trouble, let me thank my wife for coming. Uh, truly appreciate her time for coming out today.